a production designer is clever. He is really designing films, but he has to have a good brief from his director, having read the script, and uh, have that sort of imagination. Um, I know that uh, Ridley Scott saw Sid Smead's and um, uh, Giger's sketches and said, I want my film to look like that. And Tim Burton would do the same. You know, so when you work with different directors, they they require different um, different things. Yeah, it's really like cooking different meals, isn't it? Yeah, um, it, it is. It is. Yeah. When you're a production designer, you're really um, uh, when you go for the job, or you get interviewed. Generally, it's over lunch in a ward or street, and then they say, right, we'd like you to. What's your idea about it? And it's a tricky one because if you if you don't like the script and you want the job, you don't say it's a, it's a rubbish. You sort of say, oh, I've got a few suggestions to make. That's where your acting skills come out, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then you, then you might say it. But if it's great, you say it's a great film and you enjoy it. Yeah. Can you tell us what the responsibility and idea behind an actor director is? I know you've already touched on that a little bit. The supervising art director's job is to really run the art department and help with the scheduling, help with um, uh, budgets. And leaving the designer to do his thinking. Uh, it, that doesn't mean he does absolutely nothing to it. He's still involved with it, but he designs the actual concept of what is required. And the art director makes it work. Which role do you feel more passionate about? Well, that's again different, difficult because I used to be what one might say one of the top sort of supervising art directors mm -hmm. on big films. I thought it couldn't get any better than that. But then, of course, when you're designing, you are actually doing designing something you want as well. Exactly. You know, it's, it, it's one of those things. You know what you're doing all the time. But being a supervising art director, I think, is the best one. And my favourite film was a film called The Deep. And why that was good is if you like to spend a year in the Caribbean and uh, down in the Virgin Islands diving, that was great. The most successful film, um, I would say, was things like Batman, um, Death on the Nile, uh, Bond films, um, Superman's, that sort of film. But the most classic one you can have is uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. take you back a bit but could you tell us what your first ever role in a film production was please? And when I was 18 and it was at Danziger Studios in Elstree and uh, I progressed from there really then get the chance to then be a draftsman okay, you then, you used, you then I did drawing yes and did uh, we have Ken Adams who is one of the, our top production designer started as a junior draftsman at 55. And um, what's the biggest challenge you've come across and how did you overcome it? <laughs> I think probably the deep was one of the things because uh, what your problem is is uh, the communication with anybody because mm -hmm. once you're underwater that's that's uh, that's the finish of it yeah and uh, yeah. we didn't have special effects people so we had to think on our feet Bermuda, as you know, is in the middle of the Atlantic, so to speak, um, and <laughs> it's not that easy just to go down the road and try and get an expert. You've got to try and do these things yourself. Do you think CGI has any impact on the authenticity of actors' performance? Yeah, I think that what happens, the actors I've spoken to that actually do perform, they perform in green screen and then it gets put on afterwards, all the background, whatever. They don't feel the same thing. They don't feel as if they're in the atmosphere of wherever they're supposed to be. Okay. Now, Star Wars have done a lot with um, uh, CGI, and uh, which looks absolutely terrific. It's very expensive, um, but the actors don't know what the spaceship looks like. What do you want your students to get out of your teachings? I want them to understand how films are made and how uh, who does what. And uh, you don't have to be an expert at any one department mm -hmm. 
because you're in the art department. So you want to know everything exactly, but then you've also got to observe what goes on in the camera department, to the editing, special effects, everybody, mm. production. Just get to know what it is. You don't become experts at each of those departments, but you do become an expert at your bit. What advice would you give people who would like to walk in your footsteps? Just work hard. Uh, you, you are really only as good as your last. Mm -hmm. It's done on uh, hearsay of how good you are. Oh, yeah. um, just work hard at it. Uh, this is, and everybody here does. It was a pleasure interviewing you for Fab UK magazine. Mm -hmm. Again, my name is Stephanie. Okay. Wonderful meeting you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Speak to you soon.